Imagine. word used here for vision is harama, the root of our English word panorama. This term, intriguingly, is often associated with cinema, implying a motion picture or a continuous unfolding scene. Now, let's look at some key insights. The first key insight is divine connection. Both visions are uh, intricately connected, demonstrating how God's plans involve multiple people and are interconnected. The second is clarity and direction. These visions provide clear instructions and they give foresight, which is essential for guiding Ananias and Saul in their faith journey. The third is fulfillment of God's will. The visions were not just for personal edification, but were an integral part in fulfilling God's larger plan for spreading the gospel. Praise God. So how does this apply to, to our lives as seers? Well, God still speaks through panoramic visions today. These are not mere figments of our imagination, but they are powerful tools, family, for divine guidance. They require that we are prayerful and that we have discernment. They require that we have alignment with Scripture, that um, we have consultation with our spiritual tribe or mentors. Hallelujah. So the, the roundup of this is that, like Ananias and Saul, we may be called to act on revelations received in our panoramic visions. These visions are gifts Amen. They're meant to guide us closer to God's heart and his purposes for our lives. As seers, we must remember in our walk with Christ, we're not just spectators, but we're active participants in God's unfolding story. So write down in the comments below, have you had any panoramic visions in your walk as a seer? Amen. And remember to like and subscribe and share this. Hallelujah. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. God bless you.